The Nile crocodile and the lion are two large African predators with similar food preferences. Despite this, their interaction is largely ignored in the scientific literature. Therefore, I decided to collect observations of interactions between lions and crocodiles from various internet resources. I divided the interaction between lions and crocodiles into five main types. Crocodiles attack lions. Kleptoparasitism of crocodiles in relation to lions. Competition as scavengers. Lions attack crocodiles. Kleptoparasitism of lions in relation to crocodiles. Interactions without motivation and physical contact were not included in the analysis. Crocodiles attack lions accounts includes all observations in which crocodiles kill lions or attack lions and would presumably kill lions if they could. Thus, these accounts do not include observations where crocodiles defensively snap at lions, or where crocodiles moved slowly towards lions, clearly interested but did not pursue them. Lions attack crocodiles accounts includes all observations in which lions kill crocodiles or attack crocodiles and would presumably kill crocodiles if they could. Thus, these accounts do not include observations where lions slap crocodiles or take quick testing bites. The motivation of attacks in these cases does not matter, since it cannot be determined in most cases. These observations were also verified according to three criteria. Successful kill. Direct accounts. And anecdotal. Accounts of kleptoparasitism of crocodiles in relation to lions include all cases where crocs claim prey of lions. Accounts of kleptoparasitism of lions in relation to crocodiles include all cases where lions claim prey of crocs. These cases do not include observation where prey animal has not been killed by any of the competing predators. Kleptoparasitism attempt is considered as successful if an offensive predator has eaten at least part of defensive predator's prey. Finally, competition as scavengers accounts include all sightings where lions and crocodiles compete for carcasses of animals that have died of non-predatory causes. In this case, the dominant side was determined, if possible. All observations included in the analysis consider factors such as the sex of lions, determined visually or by context in the case of text accounts, the size of crocodiles, estimated visually based on comparison with lions or by context in the case of text accounts, the number of lions and the number of crocodiles. Word, many, is used if the number of animals is not specified in the text accounts, or if it cannot be counted on video or photo. In some cases, one or more of these factors cannot be determined and are indicated as unknown. Graphic comparison method for estimating the size of crocodiles was preferred for photographs and videos, even if the author indicated the sizes of crocodiles in account, since visual estimates of the size of crocodiles are almost never correct. I have currently collected 183 accounts from various sources, which is a pretty good sample. Four collected observations include interactions between lions and mugger crocodiles, but due to the ecological similarity of Nile and mugger crocs, it was decided to include them in the analysis. Kleptoparasitism of crocodiles in relation to lions is much more common than it might seem. These observations almost entirely come from direct, Non-anecdotal evidence is such as photographs and videos, and only in rare cases it is described in the old literature. 
This clearly indicates that in the past kleptoparasitic interactions between lions and crocodiles has been largely ignored. Of the 45 described observations, in 41 the result of the interaction is known. Crocodiles were successful in 82.9% of attempts to steal prey from lions, in 10 out of 15 observations with lionesses, in all 11 observations with male lions, in 7 out of 9 observations with lions of both sexes and in all 6 sightings with lions of unknown sex. When lions protect their prey from crocs, number of lions is more important than the sex of lions, while the number of crocodiles is less important than the size of the largest crocodiles in interaction. These data indicate that crocodiles are very successful in stealing prey from lions, and coexistence with large terrestrial predators can play a positive role in maintaining crocodile populations by providing an additional food source. Lions are more tolerant to crocodiles at their prey than to carnivorous mammals. In addition, crocodiles can scavenge parts of carcass after lions have fed, but such observations were excluded from the sample, since they do not show any interactions. Lions very rarely try to take prey from crocodiles. We have collected only six such observations, two of which may actually be cases of kleptoparasitism of crocodiles in relation to lions. Lions have been successful in all but one case. In two cases, lions took the prey of small crocodiles from the water. A total of 28 observations corresponding to this type of interaction were collected. Of the 28 observations described, only 16 had a behaviorally dominant side. In other cases, lions and crocodiles ignored each other, or were equally dominant. Crocodiles were dominant in 56% of cases, in 3 out of 6 observations with lionesses, in 4 out of 5 with male lions, in none of 3 cases with lions of both sexes, and in both cases with lions of unknown sex. Lions were dominant in 44% of cases. Lions are significantly more successful at competing with crocodiles as scavengers than at protecting their own prey from crocodiles. This could be due to the high degree of hunger of lions ready to feed on rotten carrion, or to the fact that feeding in such cases occurs on the carcasses of large animals, such as hippos, which are enough to feed both lions and crocodiles at the same time. Basically, lions and crocodiles are tolerant of each other when feeding on carrion. The number of lions is still important when interacting with crocodiles near the carcass. Smaller crocodiles, as a rule, are less aggressive towards lions if there are large dominant crocodile nearby. This may be just a coincidence, or it may demonstrate the deterrent effect exerted by the presence of dominant crocodiles on the aggressive behavior of subordinate individuals. A total of 50 observations corresponding to this type of interaction were collected. In 18% of cases attacked lions were females, in 50% of cases attacked lions were males, and in the remaining 32% of cases the sex of the attacked lion could not be determined. It is not possible to reliably estimate the frequency of successful crocodile attacks on lions due to the obvious bias of observations in favor to fatal attacks. The total number of accounts coming from reliable sources and describing direct observations is 25, and 72% of them are associated with crocodile attacks on male lions. This data clearly indicates that male lions are more often attacked by crocodiles than females. The size of crocodiles in most cases is not known and therefore the average size of crocodiles attacking lions cannot be reliably determined. The popular opinion that only very large crocodiles attack lions is not supported by an analysis. The maximum known size of a crocodile that attacked a lion is 4.5 meters, the minimum is 1.5 meters. The minimum size of a crocodile that has fatally attacked an adult male lion is 3.5 meters. Lions can also kill crocodiles, but usually they pose danger only to relatively small individuals. 
A total of 55 observations corresponding to this type of interaction were collected. In 20% of cases, crocodiles were attacked by female lions, in 33% of cases by males, in 13% of cases by lions of both sexes, and in 34% of cases the sex of attacking lions could not be determined. It is not possible to reliably estimate the frequency of successful attacks by lions on crocodiles due to the obvious bias of observations in favor to fatal attacks. 46 observations come from reliable sources, 26 describe direct observations. But the total number of observations coming from reliable sources and describing direct observations is only 23. So many observations from reliable sources are associated with a large number of photographs of dead crocodiles, the authors of which claim that crocodiles were killed by lions, but cannot confirm this. Thus, these observations are not anecdotal because the photographs are a reliable source, but also not direct. The analysis showed that lions do not usually attack large crocodiles. The average size of crocodiles killed by lions is 2 meters 80 centimeters, which is much smaller than the average asymptotic size of adult Nile crocodiles, which is about 3.5 meters for females and 4 meters 70 centimeters for males. The size of the crocodiles killed is close to the size of other African predators killed by lions. Lionesses tend to attack crocodiles in larger groups than male lions. Male lions in all cases attack crocodiles alone, in pairs or as part of a pride with lionesses. The maximum size of crocodiles killed by lions, mentioned in any sources, is 4 meters 10 centimeters and 4 meters 30 centimeters. Both of these observations were published by a person with the nickname Safari Guide Africa. However, in both cases, there are photographs of killed crocodiles in a good perspective, which allow to a fairly reliable estimate the sizes of crocodiles by visual comparison. The actual size of the killed crocodiles is probably 3 and 3 and half meters, respectively. Another source claims about a male lion who killed crocodiles over 3 meters 66 centimeters long, but does not provide photographs or any other data to verify this anecdotal claim. Salmon in 1932 reliably describes the case of a lion killing a 3 meters 53 centimeters long crocodile, but this is not a direct observation. The largest crocodile killed by lions in a non-anecdotal direct observation appears to have been a previously mentioned visually estimated 3.5 meters long crocodile killed by the Namatusi pride in Monopoulos, Zimbabwe. Although the observer, Safari Guide Africa, did not see the kill, he heard the sounds of a struggle at night, which lasted about 20 minutes, after which he managed to film three lionesses feeding on a crocodile carcass in the morning. For this reason, this observation is not anecdotal and can be considered as direct. Although the sample contains a large number of observations of crocodiles and lions attacking each other, interactions of this type should be relatively rare. A large proportion of such interactions, especially fatal attacks, in the sample may be primarily associated with the bias of past authors in publishing more effective observations. Kleptoparasitic interactions are probably much more common than fatal ones. The popular belief that lions deal with crocodiles worse than tigers and jaguars has little to do with reality. In my next videos, I will analyze the interactions of other big cats with crocodiles.